back now on the special edition of uh, Try It Today as we speak with folks who have been successful in their various ventures, either as entrepreneurs or in their community organizations. Next to me is a gentleman we've had on before, and he's brought a special guest with him, Jay Paul, our director. We meet once again our good friend Bradley Tuggle, who's owner of Boho Salon in Greensboro. And next to him is Cat Brockway, who is uh, a stylist that works under his aegis. And we welcome both of you to the program. Thank Good to see you. Cat, you come here. by way of uh, Tacoma, Washington, and Panama, and uh, you said you were an Air Force baby? Oh, yeah, I grew up pretty much till first grade. Exciting yep. life. Yep. And now you're able to take flight with new things with, uh, with Bradley. Yep. Always something sure. new going on with him. So. Uh, Bradley, what led you to open the salon, and how long have you been in business? Um, in January, to, January 4th will be two years, and uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to open my own place is because I was seeing in the triad a lot of places were getting to where it was becoming a very um, Walmart type of environment. Where it going was, by the numbers. Going by the numbers and everything was just like numbers pre you know, pressuring us to do certain things. So I wanted to open up a salon that put the power back into the hairdresser. Yeah. yeah. And really a personalized service too. Now your mom was a major influence on you in what way? Yes. Well, I mean, she, she was just a good person all the way around and, you know, she always wanted me to do the right thing and, you know, always forced us to try to do the right thing, me and my two brothers. And as far as that goes, you know, she just kind of kept everything and wanted us to stay focused on our career and everything we were doing all the way across the board. Uh, there's something that, that you got involved with recently with QVC, the, the home shopping network. Now, why would that have made your mom proud? My mom was the biggest QVC watcher, you know, the, actually... You know, f from the time I grew up, as long as I can remember, she was all always had her TV on QVC, and it was a great experience. And I got, you know, through the company I travel with and do hair shows, Farouk Systems. They um, actually were selling chi irons on the on QVC, and they invited. You don't me. know the chi is a product line. Yes, it's a okay. it's a flat iron. And, okay, uh, it's a flat iron, and uh, th they actually. Call me and to come come be a part of that show. So you were like the spokesperson who was selling these products on QVC. I was helping out a lot. I wasn't exactly the spokesperson, but I, I did a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And it was just to be there in that whole setting was just you know my mom was with me the whole time. It was something I could really I could have. You were thinking about her the entire time. Cat, what are the newest trends for? Like I would actually know this. Is this why I'm asking? Because if I knew, I wouldn't ask you the question. What are the newest trends for hairstyles going to be uh, throughout this year, 2013? Um, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of texture. Um, we're kind of getting back into seeing a lot of inspiration from the 90s, actually, which I know Bradley will love because that's his favorite decade. Yeah. But um, we're also seeing a lot of new, like, bangs are going to be really big, like a lot of statement really heavy, really short, all kinds of bangs are going to be really, really a lot, big. A lot of TV shows that, uh, that I've seen you know, are going back to the 60s for their inspiration. Yep, uh, Mad Men and, and, and Las Vegas, that new show, The Vegas Show, and, and Magic City, and you see the men with the slick down mm -hmm. uh, yep. hair. Do people come to you and say, I want that too? You know, you are starting to see a lot of men coming in and asking for more of those classic um, kind of James Dean inspired right. type of hairstyles. So it's definitely... Get more popular. You guys are very active in the community. Why? Um, you know, I think from the very beginning, that's just something that we always kind of wanted to be a big part of the salon. I mean, you know, giving back to your community and, you know, supporting other local businesses. I mean, it all kind of goes with having a Have you had special events or fundraisers or anything you've done with... Yeah, we do a lot of charity-based stuff. It's not always hair-related. Like this Friday, we're actually doing an adoption fair um, for some for a local dog rescue. So, Isn't that neat? Yep. Now, Bradley, your salon is eco-friendly. I've got to learn what that is. We have about a minute left. Okay. A lot of the products and tools we're using are ammonia-free hair products, ammonia-free hair color, and uh, anything we're using as far as like tools, blow dryers, is low EMF, which is electromagnetic frequency. Using less electricity. L less electricity, and plus, it's, you know, uh, EMF is what attributes to, when you talk on a cell phone, what attributes to causing brain cancer, so we keep that as low as possible. And anything we're doing, tools, products, we just try to keep it eco-friendly to keep the salon environment safe and keep the client itself safe. God, you really take this stuff seriously. We this definitely is, do. This is great. What a great success story that your salon is. www.salonboho.com is on screen as the website, 421-2646. Of course, the salon located in Greensboro. And I just, I'm fascinated by your story and by the dedication both of you have, not just to your profession, but to helping the community. And thanks for everything. Will you come back sometime? Without a doubt. Thanks for having us. Thank you. We'll be right back.